Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natural Hair Chronicles. Thank you all, sisters. I love my sisters. Uh, thank you all for just coming in. So today I'm going to be talking about my weight loss. Um, it has been a journey, but I want to let, um, see if I can get a couple more people to come in. Thank you, Be A Blessing Podcast. Thank you, sisters. Ouch. Y'all pray for my hand. Like, it was something that uh, Sister Nashua and Cody had said, like, when one of I think he was talking about just, like, sometimes get, like, a paper cut or something and how your whole body just go through, like, I have this little cut right here, y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see this, but, and I know it's really small, but the fact that you do so much with your hands, I'm just, uh, it's like it closed up the heel, but then... I'm still, it still needs more healing. So I've been just trying to put my cocoa butter on here and just, I'm, I'm looking forward to this healing up. Thank you, sister, OBW. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, I'm just saying we're waiting for this to close, for this just to heal. But um, look, I got my prayer. I got my covering. Um, let me, you know what, let me just go ahead and get started. Who come in, whoever come in, come in. You know, that's always a blessing, but um. I don't know when the kids gonna wake up. It's been one of those mornings. So let me look. Let me get my OVW on. I got to add my own flavor to it. Give me a little wrap, wrap it around a little bit. Put them around. I was it was something that my husband was actually talking about. Um <laughs> how the women who wear, you know, um the hijabs and how you ain't get nobody looking at you when you got that on. I'm like, you right about that. Get my OVW. Look, I know I look crazy. All right, there we go. Make sure I'm praying. My head covered. Okay, Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for your love, your strength, your peace, your joy, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for just waking us up on this morning, Father. Right now, I just want to ask you for forgiveness for all of my sins, all unrighteousness, all things I did have said that was not pleasing unto you, Lord. Lord, I just ask for your forgiveness for me, for anyone that's in my life, anyone that just catch the replay, Lord. Help us to just want to live for you, Lord. Well, right now, I just ask you, oh God, that you would just bless my life, oh God. You would just help all those who inspire to just have a healthier temple, Lord, to just put their minds towards, to read and stay in the scripture and just see what the word says about just keeping our, our healthy, our, our temple healthy in our mind. And Lord, just how all those things just have an important role in our lives, oh God. Right now, just ask, oh God, that you would just continue, oh God, to just help us in that area, oh Lord. Help us to fast more. Help us to put away all the foods that just don't bring us bring our bodies any nutrients and any any well any healthy or any healthiness or just well-being overall lord help us lord in those areas oh lord we want to just father sometimes give up or just eat a cookie eat a donut eat whatever things is just not beneficial to our temple lord Lord, right now lord i just ask oh god that she would just bless those oh god lord who may have the desire to want to purchase young living order young living oils that you would just open up the way for them to buy it or open up their heart, oh God, that you would just use me, oh God, to just be able to talk about the benefits of all of the oils and different things like that, oh God, and that it may want to inspire someone else or they can do it. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for blessing this love. Thank you, Lord, for your strength, Lord, and you may you be lifted up. May you be glorified, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. You don't look crazy, you look obedient. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, that was a little hot around my neck. Let me turn this up. Okay. Yes, sis. Um, okay, let me get started because I don't know when they're going to wake up. But I just wanted to come on here and just share some of my weight goals and what I've been doing. And, um, Woo, it's been a struggle. So when I first gave birth to my youngest, I'm sorry, my yeah, my youngest baby, my last son, I was 194 pounds. And 
I did start working out with my sisters. We had a, we still have our workout group. We create a workout group to just motivate and help one another out. And I started off doing, I think, pretty good. But then I sort of, I slowly but surely just began to fall off. And um, I just mentally wasn't ready to do what what was required to lose weight, cut things out, and um, just really have my mind focused. I don't feel like, you know, just weight loss is just one technique. It's so many different things that contribute to, you know, your weight loss, your mindset and where you are and just how much you're just willing to do whatever it takes to lose that weight. And I just wasn't there because I was still breastfeeding and I was pumping for the first five months. So, and I also had two other babies, two other children under the age of five to take care of. So I'm just one of those people that just like to be realistic. Like I didn't want to put too much on my plate to overwhelm and burden me. So that was my thing. Um, so I just stopped working out and I was able to get down to... Whew, 170. I was about 176. So after I lost my baby weight, um, something some some more gradually baby weight. I was 194. Then I got down to about 176. And um my diet was okay, but I noticed that when I began to cert, cut certain things out of my diet. Uh, my breast milk began to decline. And I was like, you know what? At this point, I can't stress out. I want to make this milk. I want to have things stored up for my son. And that was my top priority. And losing weight was afterwards. So uh, I began to um, get more excited because my original goal date to stop pumping was actually going to be today. I was like, I'm going to stop at May 15th, May the 15th. But it didn't work out that way. So um Unfortunately, <laughs> I had to stop. Um, I just stopped pumping. I believe it's been this week. This Sunday will be maybe almost three weeks. I've stopped pumping and it just began, it began to get overwhelming with just really trying to take care of my other children. And I had a whole lot of freezer milk and my son, he was just running through that milk. Very healthy baby boy, just running through that milk. So I'm just like, you know what? Once it's gone, it's gone. So now um, I, my husband and I, we just slowly transition him to almond milk. Whew. So with that being said, um, I could be Nate. I could. I was happy because one of the things that um, I've learned about with being with Young Living was I could use my peppermint oil. So peppermint oil, this really helped to decrease my breast milk. Any moms out there that's looking to decrease their supply, this really did help me. And I also use cabbage recommended by my sisters in Christ. And that worked as well because that first week was really hard. I think maybe even after like the first day because it was crazy because that Sunday, that last Sunday when I had pumped, I made four ounces of milk and I pumped for a whole hour. Usually my milk supply, the Lord blessed my milk supply to be to the point where I was making 25 ounces in the morning. Like I had to sit there and pump for a whole hour and 30 minutes, but I got 25 ounces. So, but to see my milk supply decrease and dwindle down to five to four ounces, which is like, you know what? My body is like, okay, we're tired. So I'm like, okay, this should be an easy transition, but the next couple of days, my boobs were just so big. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't take this pain. My children, they all over me. And so I'm like, okay, I had some peppermint oil. I began to use that. I used cabbage. I used all these different things. And I thank the Lord for just blessing that to really work. And I began to take that internally. So I was like, you know what? Once I'm able to stop pumping, I can really just, really just get down to it and do my best to do whatever I need to do to stop pumping. I mean, to stop to, to lose weight. And um, the peppermint oil from Young Living, I really, really love it. Uh, it's really strong, but in a good way. It's very effective. And I'm sorry, I want to get my essential oil death reference book. I want to talk a little bit more about the peppermint oil. I try to avoid this oil so much during the time I was nursing because it's known to decrease your breast milk. And I was like, you know what? I don't want any of my milk to be decreased. So I wouldn't really use it in my hair or anything like that. So now that I'm not pumping anymore, I can put it, I put it in my hair. I can put it, hmm, 
on my body. I just love it. It just wakes you up. So many wonderful benefits to peppermint oil, including a weight loss and not just peppermint, uh, peppermint essential oil, but I also have the peppermint herb and that's really good as well for weight loss and decreasing breast milk. So I have this book right here that it's the balm.com. So I've currently been with Young Glenn. Let me see if I can put it right here. I've currently been with them for three years now and I have no regrets. I think the biggest thing with, for most people is just sacrificing and saving up and buying a kit. I really do. But to me, it's what whatever we, you know, what are you making a priority? I knew I wanted to be healthier. I knew I wanted a quality product. And it was the reason why I decided to join under my sister cousin, uh, Natural Way of Cody. And I have no regrets. So I'm going to go to the page where it talks about peppermint oil. And I cannot, you cannot exhaust this book. This book was, was about $50 from Amazon and it's so worth it. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm like, <clears throat> so this is the peppermint oil that I had, but we also have the peppermint vitality, which lets you know that you can take that oil internally. As my, my, my sister, Natalia Cody, did a wonderful live yesterday, a lot of you still, we still have a lot of different oils with Young Living that haven't been crossed over into the Vitality line, but this is the peppermint oil right here. You can take this internally. Um, I've read different things online, how people have taken weight loss, made their own weight loss capsules with peppermint oil, grapeseed, different things like that. And grapeseed, grapefruit essential oil and how they really have lost a lot of weight. So what I do in the morning is, well, before I, before I tell you about my regimen, let me go back. Let me tell. Let me go back and talk about the peppermint oil. Okay. So some of the medical properties of 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 the peppermint oil is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral. It helps with gallbladder, so can support the digestive system, pain, and curbing appetite. And that was one of the things. Like with me, with me taking this. I have my moments when I get hungry, but not as much. So I'm like, you know what? Peppermint oil is really good for curbing the appetite. And that's what I put in my water. So I'll do peppermint oil in my water, lemon essential oil and citrus. And if I have a um, just a regular lemon, I'll put that in there. Like I'm using so many different things <laughs> in this weight loss journey because I am very, very determined to get this weight off of me. And I'm going to tell you what my weight loss is now. So I told you that before it was like around 170. Last year when I checked. Well, last year when this whole thing, when, you know, with me pumping and everything, I was about 174. So I'll let you know, you know, in the middle how, where my weight loss is now. And some of the uses is for, it helps out with, uh, the respiratory system with weight loss, headaches, eczema, digestive problems. And I just still have to be very careful in what I say and some of the ways you can do it, or you can put it in your water or you can make your own capsule. So you can take two, two, two drops of this peppermint oil and you can also put some in your water and you could do this about three times a day. I do more. Um, I do about three to four drops in mine, at, um, depending on like what time of day it is, maybe early in the morning to wake me up in the morning. And I also have my diffuser right here. So that's what's actually diffusing is the peppermint oil. It's like, it has this wonderful, just awakening smell. Like I just love how, Young Living Essential Oils, like, it's so many different things and purposes you can use them. Like, it's amazing. Like, this part, the peppermint, I love to use this to wake me up in the morning or to wake my children up. And I've also been doing something different with just putting it on my temples and on my head. And I'm just like, man, I just, I feel more, I don't know, like alert or like energized. So I've been doing that. And I just feel that little tingly feel. I'm like, you know what? This is really working. So... Um, I've incorporated that peppermint oil and I'm also doing this right here, sulfur. So I purchased this from off of Amazon 
And I got this recommendation from my sister, Natalia Cody. And I take about one and a half teaspoon, two, maybe about a teaspoon of this once a day early in the morning. And so far, it's really good for weight loss. It's good for hair. I'm really taking it for the hair growth. I'm here for the hair growth. I'm here for the length and nails and bone health. It's so many wonderful benefits to that. But those are the main reasons why I'm consuming it. Uh, I was taking it some years ago, um, you know, with being in my hair journey and I stopped. I don't even know why. I just I think I got, got around to just sometimes just being on that natural hair high to the point where you're like, okay, this, they say this work, this work, this work, and really not just, con you know, sticking to one consistent thing. So I'm taking a sulfur as well. And I'm doing this every morning. And I'm also, I don't feel like getting it, but I'm also taking black seed oil. Black seed oil is very effective in losing weight. I just take mine internally. I do about two, two table, I'm sorry, two teaspoons a day, one in the morning and one before bed. And, um, I don't even want to say like, you know, I'm just reading different things. Well, just it's so many benefits. If you just go on YouTube and just type in black seed oil, I've seen so many people say they've been cured from different things. But um, I'm using for the black seed oil for weight loss as well as my um, just my hair growth as well. And I want to do a separate live just talking about my edges, my hair growth. Like I just wanted to stick to this right now, but I'm also using it for that. And I think to me, one of the things about with weight loss and different things like that, consistently, consistency. I've also have been working out. Probably my husband bought this machine that we have. So I think I've been working out maybe about between three weeks to a month consistently. And so my schedule is when I can, I didn't, I wasn't able to do it yesterday. I mean, today, because I had so much to do yesterday and my body was just like, you know what? I am so sleepy. Um, but my, my regimen pretty much consists of getting up really early. So I get up around five o'clock in the morning and five o'clock to five ten, And I work out for about 40 to 50 minutes. And my goal initially was to burn 100 calories. So I'll be working out for 30 minutes on the machine. And I would, in 30 minutes, I would burn 100 calories, calories. But the more I begin to just fasting and eating and, you know, eating healthier and different things like that, using my essential oils, I was burning, you know, in less minutes, I was burning more calories. So I just sort of kind of began to challenge myself and I would take it up to some days I burn about 150, 150 calories and other days, 200 calories. So it can definitely be done. It just takes a lot of work. And I love to get up early and work out when I can, because it's like, it helps me to be a lot more energized and I just like how my body feels. I definitely see the results with me working out, with me um, using my essential oils from Young Living, the sulfurs, there's so many different things. So I don't want to overwhelm anybody. I'm just sharing some things that, you know, if this sound like this may work for you or you may be interested in it, that there are so many different ways out here to lose weight. And I usually wear like my belly binder, but I don't have that on right now. Like I think like with moms, you know, if after having the baby, sometimes you get like that little pouch. So I want to start incorporating more, you know, trying to do more, more crunches and different things like that. But it's one step at a time. Like sometimes we just have to just sit back. You know what? What works for me? What doesn't work for me? And whew, just staying focused on what it is that, you know, your goal is. So when I had my son, I was 194. And my weight has dropped significantly. Um, so I'm probably, I don't know, I can't, I don't know the exact measurements of my waist, but, um, like as far as like undergarments, I'm like in a size like seven opposed to being like in a size eight. So I'm definitely losing a lot of weight. Um, and I've also been doing fasting. So I've been pretty much having like one meal a day 
Sometimes it varies. Sometimes I have cheat days. I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes I will just, <laughs> with my children, I will have a cheeseburger and fries. Sometimes it, it, you you can't be to the point where you're like, you know what? I want to do this. I want to do this. Like, okay, of course, you know, we being determined and things like that. But just being realistic, you have those moments, especially for those who are trying to lose postpartum weight or just trying to lose weight overall. And thank you, sis, for posting that. And um, just getting that motivation from my sister. So I'll have maybe like a day or two where I don't work out, but I get right back on and work out again. And also drinking a lot of water has really been helping me as well. So um, let me get back to fasting. So fasting can be a little bit hard, was a little bit hard for me because I um, was used to consuming a certain amount of calories to produce the milk. But um, the Lord just really gave me the strength to just do that. You know what? I got to do what I got to do. Like, so sometimes my last meal will be typically on a normal day when everything is going smoothly. My last meal will probably be around seven. And I won't eat, I won't eat again until 3 p.m., 6 p.m. the next day. And um, like I say, um, it's not like, I guess, like a full, full, I guess, what, you know, what one would consider a full fledged fast because I'm still doing liquids, but no food and um, trying to just really cut out. I don't I've never really been a type that really eat like a lot of breads and different things like that. So I don't not, I never really struggle with breads and really like sweets. My thing would probably be like French fries, like I'm a potato lover at heart. So just cutting out those portions and um, things like that and um, consuming more salad. So when I do break my fast, I do eat a lot of salad. I'll maybe treat myself to like a boiled egg and onions and a little bit of cheese. I do put my cheese on there. Oh, wow. Okay, Elijah. Peanut butter and jelly waffle. I've never heard of that. Um but it can it can really be done. I think um, just the consistency of just keeping your mind focused and just quoting scriptures and just connecting with other sisters who really want to lose weight. And um, that's where my goal is. And that's where my mindset is, you know, at this point. So I'm trying to see what else I do. Um I did start off drinking peppermint tea, but because I had the peppermint oils, like this was just really more convenient for me. But I do want to get back and just to make it now that my breast milk has decreased. I want to go back. I would probably try to make that today. Um, I want to go back to making my tea. So in, in my tea, my herbal tea, I'll probably do the red raspberry leaf tea, which I would definitely suggest for so many women to buy this tea. This tea. The red, red red raspberry tea, I cannot stress this enough. After having my second, I'm sorry, my third son, I was taking it consistently towards the end of my um, third trimester. And my postpartum bleeding was probably for about two weeks. To me, I don't know if that, if that means anything to anybody, but with my first two, it lasted for about four to six weeks. So I'm like, wow, two weeks. Like, no, it really, really, really did work. And I did not get my my menstrual cycle until five months postpartum. So I'm I'm definitely team red raspberry leaf tea all the way. It's best, it's wonderful for fertility, for women who are struggling to try to get pregnant to get your menstrual cycle to be back on track. And it's definitely helped with that. Like after I had my first son, it was just so many, you know how your the Lord just allow you to go through so many different things. But after I had my first son, my cycle was just all over the place. Like it was just crazy. Like I would get it and I'll be on and I come off, they come back on. And it was just like coming on every two weeks. They couldn't really find anything. Thank the Lord. But with drinking that red raspberry leaf tea, it really just helped my cycle to be on a consistent schedule, like once a month and not really coming on twice a month and all that. You know, I think, you know, after having a child, some irregularities, irregularities are to be expected, but that red raspberry leaf tea really does help. So I'll also want to be, I'll probably be adding peppermint leaf, spearmint, marshmallow root, just so many different beneficial herbs. Um, and I'm trying to see, um, 
I don't have that made up yet, but that's just one of the things I wanted to include. And what else? So that's just pretty much what I do. So, so far, before I started like really being able to be transitioned into losing weight, I was, I had my calculator down here, y'all. I'm sorry. I was in the, um, I was about 160. I wish I would have really documented it. And, and, and I would definitely encourage document your progress. Document, document, you know, take pictures, um, keep track of your weight loss. So that way you'll be able to see like, you know what? I am losing weight. And that keeps you motivated. I was about, because it seemed like, I want to say between, 169 to 168. And it just really seemed like I wasn't getting past, like with just like my regular diet and not fast or anything like that. I couldn't really get down to the 150s. My um, And I want to share my goal with you all in a minute. I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm still in the 160s. Like, oh, but you know what? I was like, you know what? I'll see the light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel because I'm going to be fast and I'm going to be changing up my diet, drinking my teas, drinking my detox waters, all these different things to help me lose weight. So I started off at about 169. And now I'm about 157.8. Um, um, let me see what's in the comment. I don't document eat, I just do it, but that is a good idea to document it. Yes, yes it is. Um, I mean, what you know, you do what, work, what works for you, but I do try to keep like a mental note in my mind, you know, just how long it took me to get from here to here. Like, okay, I was here around, around what, March. But now I'm able to be here, you know, with only the strength of the Lord. I'm 157. So I'm finally in the 150s. But um, my goal was to lose all of my baby weight. So I was 194. Y'all, that was a lot of weight that I gained. It was no joke. Um, and now I am 157. So I lost 37 pounds. But that's still not my goal. My goal is to get back down to 135. That was my initial pre-baby weight. Before I had any children, I was 135. And I believe that the Lord will be able to help me to get down to that. And, you know, I think about different things that we have to endure as being women. And there's, I feel like there's just so much of a pressure to, to be... I don't know to be fit. It's just a lot. But and that's why I say just taking it one day at a time. But I know me personally, I never wanted to be one of those women. I'll be 33 in July. Oh, okay. You're looking at someone younger than you. Oh, she thinks she all that. She cute. And this is like, cause she got a body or oh, this is. What are you willing to do to lose the weight or reach that or attain that goal that you're striving to work towards? Don't hate on the next sister because she's watching what she put in her temple. She's eating the right things. Her mind is set to losing the weight. You, it's just so many different components to me to weight loss other than just to get on the bike, get on the exercise machine. Like mentally, you know, what are you willing to do? What are you willing, you know, to sacrifice to get to that point? And my thing, I'm going to what they say, like with, with a poker game, throw all of my chips in. I had my moments when I slept, but. Like, you know what? I'm getting down there. I'm getting here. You know, um, just a, it's a, it was just a blessing to get down to, like, you know, thinking back on after having my son, you know, 194. And I'll step on the scale. It was like, oh, my goodness, I'm 185. Then I got down to, you know, 170. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting down there. And then I'm getting down to 160. And now I'm being in the 150. So it's definitely been a journey. Woo, and God is so good. So I'm just so grateful for the essential oils that I had from Young Living. The peppermint oil has definitely been very, 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 very effective. 
my citrus oil, citrus fresh essential oil. I don't even have that up here, up there. Up, I'm sorry, over here is in my closet, but that's really good for weight loss and, and helping out as well. And just doing that consistently, consistency, consistent, consistently, just being consistent. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, so instead of doing drinking sodas, juice, put that down, drinking water, adding essential oils to your water, it, it just how it really just helps to really detox the body. And it was something that my sister naturally, Cody was saying, like, you know, sometimes our body, it just needs a break. Our digestive tract just needs a break from just the chomping and consuming the food. Just give it a break, drinking the water and just how your body just feels so much, you know, healthier overall. And I know that everybody's not willing to do that. You know, I don't want, that's just too much. Well, you don't want to see the results. When you really want something, you will do whatever you need to do to work towards it. And that's where my mindset is. I'm I'm just here for anybody who wants some extra encouragement, some extra push. Like, what else can I do? You know, I definitely want that mindset. You can do it. The word of God says, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, you know, getting up and working out, my I have a very, very, very busy schedule. Before all this stuff was going on in the world, I was already homeschooling. I'm new, to, I'm not new to it. So this was just my life. So now with not having to worry about pump, I can substitute that and I work out. So getting up at five o'clock in the morning, most days, working out for about 40 to 50 minutes, take a shower, go in, you know, my children are up by six, getting them breakfast, doing homeschool with them. Like it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. So I've lost about 30 something pounds, 37 pounds. I've definitely lost weight, but I definitely want to lose more. And then another thing for me personally uh, was the fact that I did not want to go out here and buy more clothes. No, I'm not buying. No, no. I'm going to lose this weight. That was my, that's my mindset. I am going to lose this weight. Like I know right now, look, we really, they just start to do, you know, lift certain things and we really can't go nowhere right now like that. But I wanted to be fit. And then another thing is I desire to have more children. Um, I don't know if the Lord has twins in store for us. I don't know. But I want my body to be ready to be able to carry another baby. And I know I didn't want to have, I know, you know, I didn't want to have more children on top of the baby weight that was already there. So that was another reason why. I'm like, you know what? I'm not pumping and no pumping anymore. I'm not nursing. So now I can really take a lot of the supplements I need to take to help me. And another thing that sulfur is good for is also good for detoxing your body. So I can honestly say that I don't know. Like I've really never had like I, I can't even really get on here and say that I've had a sweet tooth. Like I never struggled with sweets or anything like that. So it's it's easier for me on that end. You know, so just certain cravings and different things like that, appetite being being curbed, and I'm just, you know, the Lord just really blessed me when it comes down to that. So I wanted to also share with you some oils that I purchased this month. So I was able to purchase this peppermint essential oil, citronella essential oil, which is really, it has a beautiful smell like it smells amazing i use that oil strictly twins yes friend look only girl twins lord only girls um the girl and the boy like anyway look long as the girl is in there i just take a girl i already have three boys but it i love the fusing this oil and you can also wear this as a perfume in the winter, I would not suggest wearing this outside during the summertime only because bees will be attracted to you like crazy. So I also have this other oil. Let me do look a little bit of, I'm going to look this up. This oil is longevity, vitality. So anything that has vitality in it from Young Living means that you can take it internally. So some of the ingredients can consist of thyme oil, orange, clove, and frankincense. and I haven't I haven't tried this internally, but I know that I've taken time essential oil by itself and it definitely had 
just a wonderful effect on my on my body and i just thank the lord for that so it's really good with just prayer you know just just helping your body as far as what system would that even be a part of just respiratory and different things like that it's, it really was beneficial to me but i'm going to be adding this in my hair oil so i'm going to do another video just talking about different things some of the different things you know people you gotta watch out what you put on youtube because i mean don't don't put anything on youtube but you don't want nobody to come back and look at and copy okay so another essential oil is parsley now this is new i'm not really sure I'm like do they even have this in the book i've never had this i've never tried this essential oil before so sometimes I just like to just go ahead and just try different oils. So this is one of their fairly new essential oils, but I know it's also supposed to be good for detoxing the body. So I'm going to be adding that to my water. And when I, you know, as I try to incorporate a little bit more things in my regimen, doing my own like capsule pill with this because the parsley and the longevity because it can be taken internally okay let me look at some of the comments may the lord bless you with the twins like yeah i don't know where that came from i'll just be happy for a girl i'll be really happy longevity contains all that rank among the most powerful antioxidants known while antioxidants are elements that help to neutralize free radicals and lessens day-to-day -day oxidative damage everyone is subject to antioxidants are thought to protect the skin by attaching themselves to free radicals which minimize the harm they do and is important for youthful looking skin longevity contains ingredients that store very high wow on the org scale thank you sis for posting that thank you so much so that's this oil right here and this was the free oil that was for the month i purchased the oil i'm sorry purchased the order of about a hundred dollars a little over a hundred but twin girls yes with the eyes um and this was the free uh essential oil that i received this month so that's another one of the benefits that i love about young living is when you make a minimum order of a hundred dollars you get that free oil of the month and i love that because aside from that i probably would have never tried this because sometimes with purchasing the young you know just essential oils young living particularly um you could just get so stuck in a box because you have your favorites like this right here is my it's one of my favorites it's one of my favorites rosemary essential oil i've used this for so many different things particularly hair growth is good for alopecia for women who's struggling with that i had traction alopecia when i was um transitioning and um it was a lot my hair went through but i wish i would have had this to help me i use other things to help me but this is one of the things that is really effective for hair growth rosemary i use this and it smells amazing rosemary and eucalyptus galabas eucalyptus oil that's one of the three eucalyptus oils that young living has and i love diffusing those too but i love i love that and like i mentioned like this does you know just the topic of this live just talking about the peppermint oil and just how effective that it was like it's essential oils are just so effective especially when it comes down to the skin so i was able to like when i was you know wanting my breast milk to just decrease i was just putting this on my hand and rubbing on my boobs like that's all i was doing and that milk began to decline and using the cabbage so those are the only things i was really doing and of course taking this internally as well so taking this internally, rubbing it on my, you know, my boobs and taking and putting the cabbage on me and that milk began to dry up. I think I just think that's amazing. Like it really worked because I was like, really, for any nursing moms out here to know what it's like to be engorged, you know, it's like, oh, my goodness, like where's all this milk is going to, you know, where is it going to go? And it definitely dried up so that's just how effective that these essential oils are now i can't recommend anything else because i'm not willing to try anything else i'm one of those people that if it's don't if it's not broke then don't try to fix it these work for me and my family and i'm just very very content with the um with these essential oils okay 
And it's a fantastic supplement that your senior parents or grandparents will love. Perfect for those looking to get the most of their silver years. Longevity vitality is the perfect choice to support a healthy immune system and overall wealth. Yes, thank you, sis. It is. Look, and it's good for hair growth. Look, as long as I look, like, can I put this in my hair? Definitely. Um, so I'm just hoping that maybe I inspire someone to think more on purchasing a Young Living kit. You would get a diffuser. You would get about, what, 12 essential oils. You would get their Ninja Red, Beeves Cleaner. They have so many different products that are amazing. It goes beyond essential oils. Cleaning products to get rid of just those toxic toxin things in your home and cleaning up with products that, you know, doesn't have the warning label, you know, keep away from children, da, 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 like just all these different things. So I use their toothpaste, just so many different products. But I'm just on here just to say that, just to try to share a little bit of my weight loss journey. And I still have more weight to go. Um, I would love to lose all this weight by, by August. That's my goal. I know that when I'm very adamant about something, I just try to just stick to it and just be very forward. Like, you know what? Nope, I'm going to get this off of me. This is how I have the, all the tools that I need. I have the encouragement from my sister. I'm detoxing. I'm fasting. And I'm eating the right thing. So this is going to happen. So just focusing your mind on that. Like, you know what? I'm not going to just allow any negativity to come in. I can do this. So I want to come back in another video. I want to talk more about my, my edges and hair growth. And um, Nashway and Cody and I, we are long overdue. Please stay tuned. We are long overdue to talk about why we don't wear human hair anymore. We are long overdue on that video. Um, so we, I look forward to talking about that. Um, oh, I look forward to that, and, uh, just that treat. And I also want to be doing a giveaway very, very, very soon. Very, very soon. Um, whew, so I think that's pretty much it. I don't know how long I'm going to fast today. But I know that my water with the peppermint oil and the lemon essential oil, it definitely helps. Even if you just want to do like maybe about two drops, you don't really need a lot. But I'm like, I'm like OD mode. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I thank y'all for joining me as I talked about this. Talked about my weight loss. Thank you, sis, for posting that. Natria Cody. Thank you, Pussy. Be a blessing. Thank you so much, sis, um, for sharing. Thank you for coming in. I'm so appreciative for all of y'all. For anybody that catch the replay, I'm so grateful. It's a lot of other essential oils that are also effective for weight loss, but I just want to touch more on the peppermint and how it's just really been effective for me. And the citrus fresh essential oil has been effective as well, as well as the sulfur and thickness. And I want to go more on to talking about sulfur and hair growth in another video. But I thank y'all and I pray y'all have a blessed, blessed day.